Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're diving deep into Cameron Park. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, before I get started, please hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell because I've got new videos coming out for you every single week. Also, if you're looking to move into the area, please reach out to me or Deborah. We'd love to help you out and get you guys into that dream home. All right, so let's get into it on Cameron Park. Cameron Park right now, average uh, house price is running right around 550. Population is just shy of 19,000. You are definitely in the foothills in Cameron Park and you've got a lot of different looks. You've got some acreage out there, a uh, lot of neighborhoods, You've probably heard it in other videos as well as mine there is no sidewalks out there but you've got really large lots large streets out there so you really going to Cameron Park you're just getting a lot more bang for your buck uh, usually a house in Cameron Park area is gonna be somewhere between 100 maybe even 150 less than what you're gonna find say in like Folsom or El Dorado Hills Cameron Park is one of those areas where uh, Niche actually named them the number three spot in California to raise a family. Um, one of the cool things is they've got, of course, great schools out there, a lot of outdoor activities, and depending on the neighborhood that you're at, because you're at the start of those foothills, you've got some neighborhoods that uh, got some cool hills for derby box riding, or you also got some more flat areas. Cameron Park is located right off of the 50. So if you are having a commute, it's gonna be a little further going down into the Sacramento area, but it's a straight shot. So not too, too bad. Grocery shopping though, um, retailers wise like that, you're not really moving to that area for that. You're gonna have to do most of that in your Folsom area. They do have a grocery center uh, it's a Bel Air with a couple other shopping areas around there, but for the most part, if you're looking to do some retail shopping or some heavy lifting, you're gonna have to go into Folsom for that, where you're gonna see more of your Targets, Walmarts, and bigger box stores. One of the things I really enjoy about Cameron Park is, even though it's not huge, there actually is seven parks in the areas for the families. Also, one of the coolest things I think about Cameron Park, and I think a big draw for a lot of people moving up there, is if you own an airplane, you may just need to move to Cameron Park. They have their own um, small airport, and surrounding this airport, they actually have houses built out. It is called Cameron Air Park Estates. And this is actually, so you, you land in there with your plane, uh, you can actually drive it right down the street, and uh, the streets are, of course, huge for this purpose. You can take your plane and park it into your garage. They have these basically huge bays that you just pull in there. Uh, if you've got a plane, you know, a lot of these planes, you can actually fold up some of the wings there, and they're actually really, really nice houses. A lot of updates have been done on these houses, but if you are looking to move there, uh, it's a smaller community and there is a little bit of a waiting list when it comes to finding a house on there. Anytime I've taken a client up there to look at one of those houses, uh, they're usually gone within days, uh, sometimes even hours if the uh, house is priced correctly. Other than that, uh, really the last thing I wanna say about uh, Cameron Park has gotta be that being out in that area, you do have to remember, you're most likely gonna be on septic, uh, well, if not a neighborhood well, and a lot of the people out there have propane uh, to the property. For your electricity, uh, you are gonna be on PG&E, and Cameron Park is just high enough, depending on where you're at, you may be part of those shutdowns, so just remember that. Most of my clients, though, they're fine with that. Most people up there have bought a generator and especially since they have that propane hookup out there, they're fine with just running their generators the full time. So just side notes for there, but the cool last thing I'll say is being in Cameron Park is you are still close enough to fire departments that really you're not gonna have too much trouble when it comes to fire insurance. They're still low enough down the hill and it's not, you're not really in the woods yet or, um, or surrounded by a ton of trees. So really the insurance shouldn't, uh, shouldn't hit you too bad. 
Other than that, guys, that's all I've got for Camera Park. This is a quick one. If you want more information on it, if you really want to know a little bit more about those houses where you can actually just drive your plane and into your garage, let me know. Uh, we'll get up there and do a little house tour for you. On that, we'll see you guys on the next one.